Hi, and welcome back from break. <clears throat> and welcome back. All right, let's move on a little bit here. In the idea of consciousness, of course, because that's, let's say, what we are. All of us, conscience. All right, now, to shift away from the idea of the other earth, and now put your awareness into you and what this particular person can create. First, you're shifting to, let's say, already existing selves of the past, of the now past in that idea. Now we're going to shift your awareness to your future selves. Now, in that, there are a lot of probable yous, not only as a human, not only as a human in other lives, but as well as other incarnations as well, other beings, if you will, aliens and extraterrestrials in those two forms. There are, let's say, several thousand more ideas of conscience, of self-awareness in that being that of, let's say, as Osiphius, me, my case, a star constellation. All right. <clears throat> All of you have an idea of what you want to become. And we'll use the limiting term as an escape idea to become a new you. A venturous, in some fashion, you in your mind. If you want to be a race car driver, a detective, a doctor, a lawyer, or even those ideas of career paths and things like that that are definable within your framework. But we want you to go outside of that as well. Play in the realms of what you have, let's say, through your synchronistic moments, giving yourself the awareness as a probable reality of acceptance in order to expand your sandbox once again. So in that, Rakia loves angels. So she walks around as an angel sometimes and feels that and grows her wings. Poof. Poof. Spreads them. Mm -hmm. Brings them forward. Mm -hmm. Itches her nose with her wing, that kind of idea. So she plays in the realm of that idea. She acts as if she is that being in that incarnation from that point of view, from that vibrational state. Much like all of ourselves, me, Osipius. How are you, Palia? Greetings. And thank you for your attendance, Palia, from what you would understand. Friendship idea, thank you. Hmm. Pleiadian Akina. Chona yako no tori ataka na yako nimikoto. Nyan, hyuno nukuru. From the Hathor civilization. So it's easy to shift in and out of those selves because Roxanne has, let's say, taken the belief into the idea of a knowing and then locked it in as if, therefore giving her that vibrational conscience shift to that being that she is in the idea of the oversoul idea fashion. So we want you to play within your imagination, your fantasies, however it looks equatable as a probable reality to experience. We want you to have the focus on that, put your intention behind that, and act as if. Now, in equatable idea, there's a TV show called The United States of Terror. Now, that girl in that fashion are the united, all of herselves, states, states of being of Tara, the one she is in the now. But she has multiple personality disorder. It's not a disorder. It's a clue to you guys, a signal, a signpost that you have that ability. So watching, you can see her acting abilities is what you will equate it to, to shift from different personalities and then be in that and not even remember who the original one is, Tara. And then she has her, let's say, outlandish woman that's, let's say, promiscuous, the smart one, different ideas. Same thing here. Now shift your awareness and become, 
and let's say for the ones who want to brave through it, become that entity that you're dreaming of and lock in and be that in action. Say what you think that being would say. Act as if you are that being. Walk around in your day to day. Go to work and shift that conscience. That will only drop the fear that you are holding on to work as, let's say, a staining idea of, let's say, making a living. If you go in there as a different personality and they may look at it weird and you got to get fired. No. Be the funness of that and there will be a muse behind that. And the ones that aren't, so what? Your concern is for your expansion upon yourself on this, let's say, limiting idea of one fractal self. Are you all following this idea? Louder? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So shift your awareness from your fantasy worlds, your Merlins, your witches, your Warcraft, not Warcraft, well, that's an idea, Warlocks, truly. So fantasy, why did you give yourself so many fantasy games to play? Your D&D, &D. everybody's playing D&D &D in that one particular time, which took the conscience of collective of expansion of that collective that participated and resonated it outward where let's say the judgmental looked at it as a fantasy world however it's truly a shift of conscience allowing yourself to act from that state of being and realize you are more than oneself multifaceted multi-dimensional in that fashion so that is a practicum, the overall encompassing from the 3D limiting earth of what you don't want to shifting to the idea of being all of your other higher selves in the innumerous amount of availability to you and other uh, incarnations from an oversoul that, let's say, not equatable to a human or past or present life or a future life, that fashionable idea. So continue to play and give yourself an entire new sandbox to play in that can take you eons truly to play within it, but it's all consciously now, so it's all accessible in the fleeting of a moment, and you can be that, encompass it, all of it in a second's time, and then give yourself the memory of that entire civilization, of the being you incarnated, and then have it all downloaded to this conscious self because you're endless. Does that make sense? Yes. Exciting? Yes. Fun. We are about fun. We want you to have fun with this. Because there is always a resonance of shifting back and forth between obligation of ascending the entire human collective as, let's say, a concern of yours when truly the one affects the all. Okay? And when you are playing within your sandbox more vibrationally comfortable, expanding on ideas that are acceptable within your current idea framework, thank you, Seth, and that idea and expanding beyond that and keep that up, disappear, focus within that, don't pay attention to reality that you, let's say, deem it as and let it go for a series of moments and then when it gets too grand that you need to go and do something for equatable sustaining of life so be it however more and more you will see results of your more and more practicing of that idea you will see your results of a shifting reality to where all the things that you need are magically given in the moment because you're playing out truly the new you in the future by allowing it to come in through all of the tools you have available to you every single moment is full of presence it is only you that are missing the presence of, let's say, abilities, ideas of expansion, because you are limiting, fearful, and all that. But that's okay, because that is the knocking on the door for expansion. So, once again, continue with this wonderful idea that the human collective has brought forth through this entity right now. And in that, you will expand, once again, the ascension idea timeline vertically and not linearly. So, Connie will talk with you. Collective, tune in if you choose. If not, it's okay, because this is a focused idea. The idea behind David that Roxanne said earlier, okay, do you have an understanding of David in biblical terms? Yes. Louder? Yes. 
Okay, what's the idea behind it? Let me hear your de definition, defining of that. Uh, where's my Bible? Where's your Bible? Do you, <laughs> anybody know who David is? David and Goliath. Mm-hmm. And let's say, <clears throat> play it out. <clears throat> who lost? Who won? David won. Mm, why? He wasn't afraid. He wasn't afraid. He was meek, wasn't he? Yes. Meek and shall inherit to earth. But the strong ego Goliath looked on him with eyes of, let's say, vanity. Yes. Only vibrating that idea of vanity in that fashion with a sense of security based in a foundation of faulty, faulty awareness, truly. David, being meek, had the divine nonchalance. You, in that fashion, want you to, higher self, want you to equate David to where you are now in the, let's say, censor idea, sensory, better, not censor as in censorship, sensory idea of the divine nonchalance that all of you have. Don't have a concern. Relax. Okay. Also, for Rob Gauthier out there, and Chandler of Treb, Relax. Let it go. Have the divine nonchalance of life. It is just experience. The more you try, try, try in that fashion, the more you are going to continue try, try, try. Frustration, disappointment, not keeping your appointments with your presents that are waiting to be unwrapped because you are disapproving of them because you are validating your own need to create as a controller instead of allowing and surrendering and knowing that you're God and being in the slipstream. All right? And as far as Connie is concerned in this idea, relax about your business, relax about the results you've had so far, and now you can shift your awareness to David and Goliath on how he kicked ass in that fashion, and then boom, his whole reality changed because he knew it. Are you following? Wonderful. All right, collective. In that fashion, look at this whole circumferencing idea we've given you in a nice package to unwrap. Now, in the unwrapping, realize that when you get the package, which you already have it, it is all, every single word, every single intention, every single vibration state, every single item within this entire channeling moment is in you, period. Use these words, I got it, done, let it go. And don't seek the validation of Godding it. I got it, know it. I got it, know it, let it go. And in that, let the mind, higher self mind in that fashion, give you what is pertinent as a reality to explore, a def definition of an idea to explore, and once again, surrender to the validation through the imagination and giving yourself the ideas all around to follow and then giving you the epiphany of the present being unwrapped in that fashionable moment of the multitudinous presence within the entire gift wrap we've given you today. Following everybody? Mm, yes. Booyah! Excellent message today. We can feel the collective in the now the to be perceived on this idea. Awesome blossom. Once again, this is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collectifier. Before I depart, do you need any clarity, each and every one of you? If not, we shall depart. Go. Okay. Good. 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 Awesome. Good. <laughs> Once again, our eternal love and gratitude for the acceptance of humanity. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collectifier. I bid you a good moment. Adonai. I really liked that one. Yeah, you really liked it. Fucking rocked. <laughs> that was good. Because you I like it. I have a cramp. Hang on. <laughs> My foot cramps. I'm like, what do you have? That's like, I'm so intense. Years ago, I did a piece of calligraphy. 
act as if. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and posted it on my wall, and that was, yes. Act as if. Act as if. So. And I do that sometimes, you know. I, 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 I like play. I go up and, you know, at the cash register, and I'll all of a sudden, thank you. You know, <laughs> just do different voices, and, you know. <laughs> and I just just playing with it, you know. I need to do it more, though. Mm. Yes. I don't need to. I know, limiting. <laughs> play with it. Play with it. Awesome. Like that. Like that. All right, guys. Um, I'll get this up as soon as I can. Thanks again for tuning in. I love you so much. Bye-bye.